So coming around to Woods Hole Trout Stroll this year, we decided we wanted to not only do a regular Woods Hole Trout Stroll, but really add to it and reach out and get some audiences and performers that we haven't had in the past. So we have about 16 performers. I think about a dozen of those are musical performances and others have to do with inclusion in the arts, including people with intellectual disabilities, with Down syndrome, with autism, and people of color. And so that's been our focus this year. And we have some really good talks about that. Uh, because you cannot just say everybody's welcome. You have to do something to bring people in and to give them activities. And so we've been really successful um, in doing that. And that brings us to collaboration, which is so important to Arts Falmouth. Um, I am right now at the Falmouth Arts Center where we just had a concert and Falmouth Arts Center gave us the use of their property and they, they had it as a concert, a small concert with a small audience, and that was terrific. You can watch these events on all different levels, just for the pure enjoyment of the music, to see what local talent we have, and we have really a wonderful array of talent to enjoy all those different traditions. But also, from my point of view, um, I play the flute and the cello. I'm an amateur musician. I'm not great, but, but Arts Alive has, and, and to, to some extent, the Tradstroll has always given me an opportunity to play. And I think that's what's really important besides the people who perform uh, professionally. It also gives uh, us amateurs an opportunity to come forth and join and be part of the musical scene here in Falmouth. And we're including art uh, also in this event. And so we're trying to uh, incorporate all the, all the arts, the performing, literary, and visual arts into each event that we do, not just into Arts Alive. And I'm hoping that we will also be interviewing someone about a book that he wrote and things like that. So we have a, a huge array of things to do. And if you go to artsfelmouth.org, you should see a list of those performances. Uh, it may be updated as we move along, but right now um, there's, a, there's a list online.